welcome welcome back to my channel my name is Kayla if you are new if you are not new how are you doing how have you been so I have this maybe my very last dedicated install video this wig is from last year so thank you so much for sponsoring this video um if you want to see how it is that I got this really nice blunt bob with these beautiful sexy ass baby hairs and the frontal and the everything just looking this good so guys this is my it. very last hopefully it might go up in a different order but my very last dedicated install shout out to lush wig for being the last one to do this with me um it's been a journey and i'm really like a bittersweet but happy that this is ending um so what we finna do right now is take our got to be gel and our got to be spray and we are going to lay this wig down now while we do this i want to talk to you really quickly about the wig in itself so it is a or it was um a fake scalp wig so it had the fake scalp stuff in the inside but as you know i don't really like the fake scalp so i ended up cutting that out and one thing that i do love about the fake scalp wigs is that what ends up happening is the company bleaches the knots because they obviously want it to look as natural as possible right so when you cut it out you have bleach knots so the knots are already bleached on your wig you don't have to worry about that at all and it's just a nice step that you don't have to do yourself so as much as i don't like the actual fake scalp that top that typically comes with these wigs i love the fact that the that the lace is already um is already bleached um and i'm just taking this comb this comb actually came inside of uh, the box that the wig came in so you do get some goodies with this company which i love to see um it, i will say though that it is a little bit flimsy as you can see me using it it's kind of just bending um but it gets the job done i'm just using it to lay this lace down and i do also want to add that the lace itself was a bit yellow when um i put the wig on so i don't know why that was but i had to put a little bit of makeup on it just to really get it to match to my skin but as you can see she's looking even from this she's looking like scalp and we ain't even laid her all the way down yet but we're gonna skip ahead because i'm not gonna show you both sides because again i've done this a gajillion times on my channel so we're just gonna get into the next step which is just taking as you know if you don't know do you see that lace okay cool but if you don't know you want to take your elastic band please guys if you are not using an elastic band in the midst of your installs you're not doing it correctly um Aragon Tay even does this, so baby, if he's doing it, you know you need to do it. So, um, just take an elastic band and put that on your lace, and it helps you to really get your lace to be mounted. So now, I'm gonna just take some water. I'm just gonna spray this down. Um, I didn't necessarily have to do this at this point, but I just wanted to kind of get the hair started to be in some sort of a style. Because obviously, when you pluck your wig, especially if it's curly hair, as you brush through it, it's gonna disrupt the curl pattern so i just wanted to kind of get it all back into one similar curl pattern so we're just doing that this her though this is some of the prettiest curl like i mean obviously i've had this texture before but i don't know what it is about this hair but it's just so beautiful it's so soft it's so nice i i really 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 enjoy this wig and i'm really glad that i have it i'm really really glad that i have it and i think this might be my hair for the summer like this is such a beautiful wig but yeah what's next we're just gonna these clips also came with the wig so you get these two clips in the box as well but i'm just clipping the hair back because i'm gonna get ready to sort out these edges which is my favorite part of any install so but like look at the lace baby look at the lace look at the lace what song am i listening to right now hey i think i was listening to drake big fans so though <laughs> There's a fucking stripper on a mink, right? <laughs> anyway, should I said before I get into the actual baby hairs, what I'm going to do is just make sure that I like the way that my part is and where it's located, all that good stuff. Um, as you can see, the parting space is very minimal. That's one thing that I did not quite like about this wig is that the parting space was very small. But I digress. The lace kind of... I'm sorry for the uh ambulance um the lace the lace kind of made up for that but i do wish that it had a bit more parting space but that's fine so we're just gonna do some edges and i did my edges a little bit differently this time and it wasn't on purpose but it just kind of came out a little bit different and i'm kind of obsessed with how they look um i'm not really sure what i did so i can't be like guys do this instead because i really don't know what i was doing differently but 
I really think it's just the amount of hair that I used was a very little amount so it just looked a lot more natural and I ended up not doing such a gigantic slant when I cut it just now you saw how it was a bit more straight than how I normally do it but it just really came out really really nice and I'm really 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 proud of this install like this is one of my favorite installs that I've done thus far I think honestly um so I think we're gonna speed through this because again these things we've done a million and one times and it's really just like how many times can we watch the killer install a wig I can't watch myself install a wig any more times so <laughs> I apologize for putting y'all through this as much as I have but I still love me a little frontal I still love me a little wig but I beg you companies no more dedicated installs but for the center part because I haven't done this in a very long time I wanted to show you guys how it is that I do do the middle part now I had laughed this hair out as a, after I was plucking it I had just laughed it forward if you saw earlier I had to like unravel it or maybe I spat through it but it was already set out after I plucked the wig because I was kind of like I kind of want to do some baby hairs but anyway you saw me cut it off just now and I'm just going to take a little bit of jowl just a little bit you see me put it on the back of my hand I just want a little bit and I'm going to just put it at the root of the root I guess you can say the root of where the baby hairs are and I'm just going to come and sweep it so this is really up to preference you don't really have to do this part or you can do a little bit less hair or whatever it is that you prefer to do but I do it in what am I listening to I think this was Nicki Minaj. I don't... I, Romans were... <laughs> anyway, sure. Um, But yeah, I do it in sections. So I do the one part that's going to go swooping in and then the next part that's going to be on my forehead. And I just use my finger to help guide it where it needs to go. Right now, I don't know. It looks a little bit weird, but for whatever... Like, by the end of this, I'm telling you, you saw it at the beginning. We look really beautiful. And these edges just came out looking really, really nice. Um, It's all about placement. But anyway... I'm going to widen this part a little bit just because of how small it is. I want to really make sure that you can see it. And a pro tip is if you pluck, sorry, if you bleach your knots before you do any type of plucking, it makes it a lot easier for the hair to come out. Because as you can see, the hair came out really, 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 really easily without any real force. So just a tip to y'all if you feel like you're scared to do... Um, what i'm sorry <laughs> i got distracted okay so now what i'm gonna do is just taking some gel to the hairline because i'm gonna set this like i said i'm doing everything before i go do my makeup because i just want to get everything set so while i'm doing my makeup it has a chance to really sit in and marinate and just you know do what it needs to do but as i'm brushing through to kind of get it in the position and the direction that i want it to go i realized that the hair is a bit too bulky for me still so if you put your wig on and you realize that it's not plucked in enough you can really just go in and pluck it some more um but what i do suggest is putting your finger like at the very front of the hair so that you don't end up pulling the lace up but that's just a tip if you feel like it's not um done the way that you want it to be done but i'm gonna be back in two seconds looking like a whole snack we love to see that so we are going to be taking this off. I ain't going to lie, the elastic band be hurting my ears. It really do be hurting, but <laughs> beauty is pain, baby. Um, can we look at this? Look at the baby hair. Like, everything just looks so nice. There is a line of demarcation, as you can see, but it'll um, kind of fade away as time goes on. I'm just taking some concealer to really make sure, that, again, that this part is very defined and you can see it because of how small it is. I want to make sure that it is noticeable um, that there is a part on my head and that there's some considerable... I'm kind of like, you see how I'm trying to swoop it in the back to kind of make it look... Give it the illusion that it's a bit bigger than it actually is. Um... As you can see, I also, from the beginning, the hair was obviously long in and I did cut it, so I just kind of, pref I can see where it kind of was stopping and I felt like it would look prettier at that length, so that's why I cut it. So as you can see, I'm just going to do like a zigzag motion because I didn't want it to be too, too, too blunt of a cut, so when it dried, it had more of, a, not a shape to it because it's still not going to have much of a shape to it, but I just didn't want it to be... A ridiculously blunt cut so that's why I did it the way that I did but we're just gonna cut both sides of this um, and I really just like the way that this looked it looks really cute in this short curly 
uh, fro kind of vibe. And I'm just going back in with the water again because the first time I did it, I didn't put any product in and I want to put a bit of product in here to help it really hold its curl. So I'm just spraying it down with some water. Um, there's nothing inside of this bottle. It's literally just water and my Denman brush. I know it's called Denman, please. I just wanted to say it like that. And I'm taking some conditioner because I don't have any curly hair products because if you don't know, I really do not take care of my natural hair and I really should do that, but I don't. So I just have conditioner for when I wash my wigs and I'm just putting a little bit, not a lot of this in the hair because I didn't want to weigh it down, but I want it to kind of give something to help it hold its curl. And I think that's pretty much it, y'all. Can you look at the lace, baby? The lace is lacing the laces hitting we're looking really good and i'm really proud of this install i'm absolutely in love with this lace it is so perfect melted really really nice really really well um it just looks really good i just wish that there was some more pattern space other than that honestly lush wig you did it look at the shine on the hair look at everything on it we look really good and i'm really pleased and Hi, Joel. um i don't have my mic at the moment so i apologize for the audio but this is the finished look we went out on a bang like for this to be my last install don't quote me on this but my last like face to face talking her explaining as i go through install baby this looks good and for this wig to not have like the parting space on the side literally stops it's like literally like this big so for it to look this nice with this little bit of parting space and then the parting space here literally stops her so that's why it doesn't go back any further than that but imagine if this went back further but um this lace impeccable i did have to put some makeup on it as you saw i think in the beginning because it was like kind of yellow um but now she's looking like scalp she's looking like scalp um I am obsessed. I love this Lush wig. Never heard of this company. So glad that they reached out to me. I am, baby, I'm pleased. I like, like you saw, I did cut this wig. I prefer short curly hair on me, but long wavy hair. Anyway, so I got this beautiful baby on my hair right here. I might wear this hair to London. I was thinking about putting some straight hair on, but this, honey, we're looking good as hell. Um, but yeah guys, so that is the end of the video. Everything will be linked down below if you would like to purchase this wig, which I really think, honestly, I really think that you should because this is, this is a wow. Um, but yeah, thank you again to Lush Wigs for sending me this unit and sponsoring today's video. If you enjoyed, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel because you know you want to be there with me. Turn on my post notifications, follow me on Instagram, and I will see y'all in my next one. Peace out, Girl Scout. Check you later.